Hey. Hey. Any trouble today? No. Expecting any? No. Must be fun being a guard. Hmm. Not really. What exactly do you guard in a swamp? Flies. The smell. The dawn. The dawn. Back there in that temple. But my post is here. In the swamp. Sounds like an important job. What is there around here that people need guarding from? You must have seen them. Seen what? Those things. Things? The things from the ruins. There are ruins everywhere. The ones that came up from the ground. The ground is warped or something. That's where these things are? Yeah. They're all over that excavation site in the middle of the swamp. And? They make me nervous. Why? They're... disgusting. Uh-huh. You ever have any problems with the locals? Locals? They give you any trouble, you just smack them around. Or you could try talking to them. Who's in charge here? The Don. Who? The Don. Right. Where is the Don? In the temple. Is he religious? Ha! <laughs> so what does he do in there? Avoids being out here. You don't talk much. What do I want to talk for? I don't know you. Getting anything out of you is like pulling teeth. That's why I make such a good guard. You must have picked up some skills to be a guard. I know how to fight. And I can handle a crossbow. Can you train me? To fire a crossbow? All right. But it will cost you. All right. Let's try this question. Tell me more about these things. The ones in the excavation site. They're disgusting. Big insect things. I wish someone would get rid of them. I can. I'd need pay. Say, 30 gold coins. 30? Yeah. It's worth that to get rid of those things. They're... disgusting. Keep my gold warm. I'll be back for it. I want to improve my fighting skills. What do you want? I don't know. What do I want? You were looking at me. I'm new here. I'm just getting to know people. If you don't know I'm the best fighter in the camp, then you won't be near long enough for me to care. Man like you has clearly seen some action. Well, you know, I don't like to boast, but I've crushed a few heads. If you want to eat here, you have to work. You want a free ride? Try those white robes at the monastery. They'll give you a free ride all the way to their excavation camps. And keep your paws off other people's stuff while you're here. Or you'll lose your paws. Hey. Hmm. I've not seen you before. Who are you? A fresh-faced young man eager to experience the thrill of an outlaw's life? Uh, maybe. I can't think why else you'd be here. There are warm alehouses and welcoming brothels in the town. Food and indoctrination at the monastery. Are you a woodcutter for the camp? Just because I'm cutting wood doesn't mean I'm a woodcutter. Actually, I'm a hunter. My lads and I provide meat for the camp. So you lead the hunters? 
Normally, yeah, but as you can see, I've got vital woodcutting work to do. So right now, my hunters are running wild like free spirits, or they think they are. Shouldn't you get someone else to cut the wood? I'd love to, believe me. But Brogar would nail me to a tree if I left this wood unsaw. Brogar? One of the Don's lieutenants, the leader of the fighters, a, shall we say, powerful, single-minded man. And you're his personal woodcutter? Former sins. Why does he want you to do it? I tangled with him, and now I have to pay. We live by Brogar's laws out here. Brogar's laws? Not the Don's. The Don wants me to hunt, Brogar wants his fire stoked. You judge who's really in charge. Why don't you stand up to Brogar? Him and all his fighters, you mean? So everyone's afraid of him. You clearly haven't met him yet. Then you'd understand. He's over there. Go and introduce yourself. Then decide whether you'd stand up to him. How can I become one of the Don's men? Huh. Firstly, I'll need to tell you a couple of things. The Don's a powerful man. Well, he was. Since we've been in this swamp, he's hidden in that temple. Hasn't been out for weeks. His wife, Rachel, has been trying to run the camp. She's the one you need to impress if you want to meet the Don. Rachel? Right. Before you charge up to her, you need to be aware of... Brogar? You're learning. Why can't I get to talk to the Don himself? If you can't get Rachel on your side, maybe you could get past the guard at the temple. Maybe. Sounds like it could be worth a try. True, but it's a long shot. Rachel might be your best way in. Can you teach me to hunt? Sure you wouldn't rather chop wood? I was thinking more of hunting. Then you're talking to the right man. Can you teach me about hunting? Hey, you don't look like the rest of the Don's men. Me? I'm the one the rest of them treats like dirt. Day in, day out, me and my workers try our best. And they need us, the bosses. But do they realize that? I wish they'd come and see what it's like. See if they like being eaten by swamp worms. Are you in charge of the workers here? Yeah. I'm supposed to oversee the workers of the excavations. The morale is so low that the men don't care anymore. Why is it so bad here? We keep losing men to the worms. And there are even worse fates too. I'd rather be anywhere else. But we have to collect anything made of gold and take it to Beppo. I didn't expect to have to fight the monsters here. We're not trained for it. And that bastard Brogar should be protecting us. But do his fighters ever come and help? Do they hell? Too drunk, most of them. So the excavations have stopped? They won't be happy when they find out. The Don's supposed to be a fair man. But Brogar isn't. And he should be protecting us. If any of my men were good at fighting, they'd have gone long ago. They'd be living it up in the bars and brothels of Harbour Town. If I'm going to take action, I'll need better armor. I can give you workers' clothes, that's all. And you'd have to pay. After all, you're not a worker. Why should I clothe you? We're all stuck on this island in this swamp together. We might as well help each other. I'll see if I can get your workers back to work. You won't. If I can't, what chance does a stranger have? I can talk to Brogar for you. Don't. It'll only cause trouble. We've tried everything. Brogar's not going to listen to you. What can you tell me about Brogar? Nothing. I'm not telling you anything. I don't want trouble. You've already got trouble. Yeah, but I'm not dead. I'd rather take my chances with the worms than get Brogar angry. Brogar can't be that bad. Brogar is all bad. Ask the hunters. 
I'll tell you what he's capable of. Well, I offered to help. Are any of your workers around? They should all be at the excavation site. But that doesn't mean they will be. You'll recognize them. They'll be wearing workers' clothes. Even if they've got no intention of working. Uncontrollable, most of them. That's what the swamp and being ignored does to you. You really have given up, haven't you? Well, you would in my position. It's hopeless. Hopeless! Hopeless isn't a word I use. Maybe I can do something to help. How many excavation sites are there? Three. One east of the temple, and two right in the middle of the swamp. Look for the artifact crates. They mean you're in the right place. Right. Leave me be. Farmers are in the town, no hunters are going out. It's all crazy. Failure and success. Hey. Lost, are you? Don't you worry about it. I'll take care of you. Who are you? Craig. And if you want a fortune in gold, I'm your man. Your job is to distribute wealth. Exactly. I arrange little wages, you give me your gold, and you could double it. What odds do you offer? Ah, uh, you're interested. Uh, listen up, I'll explain. You give me a sum in gold, if you win, I'll pay you back double. And if I lose? There are no losers, only future repeat gamblers. I'll just keep your gold warm until you want to try and win it back. And can I be sure you'll pay out if I win? Oh, you of little faith. I'm hurt. If I wasn't honest, do you think I'd last two minutes around here? How do I place a bet? Oh, nothing easier. We bet on anything here. Who'll be the next worker to get eaten by a swamp creature? The next winner in the arena? Anything! You can even bet on yourself. If you want to go into the arena. People fight for gold. Don't sound so surprised. People have fought for gold since time began. There's a small arena over in the west. That's where it happens. I bet you're worth a gamble. Tough looking fella like you. Is there somewhere around here I can train for combat? I wouldn't normally do this, but I'll train you if you like. Always good to get the inside skinny in case you go into the arena. Tell me more about the arena. It's all friendly, just a few bruises and broken limbs. It isn't to the death, it's where we train and test ourselves. Well, if you fancy a fight, just challenge one of our fighters. If he accepts, he'll go into the arena with you. The fight starts when both willing volunteers are in the arena with their weapons drawn. The first fighter to go down loses. That's clear enough. Which of the fighters here are the best? Based on recent form, Ricardo's a loser. Lorenzo isn't too sharp either. Used to be all right. Faded a bit these days. I'd say Domingo is probably the best in camp. I've decided to fight in the arena. That's what I wanted to hear. Well done. Do yourself proud. Remember, once either man hits the ground, the fight's over. Carrying on when your opponent's on the dirt, that's not fair play, is it? You'll pay dearly if you break that rule. Right. You'd be a good opponent. Why don't you fight me in the arena? Ah, I should have seen that coming. Think about it. This is my domain. I even bet on myself. Well, you got spirit, but try someone easier. 
I want to improve my fighting skills. Says it. You look relaxed. The busy mosquito is swatted at dawn. The happy snail does nothing but yawn. We're in a swamp. What's there to make an effort for? The Don just lets you relax. Never see him. Beppo's always chasing us to hump crates round. All that effort for what? A pile of old crap. Hawkins is my boss, and if Hawkins doesn't care, Beppo can go screw himself. And Hawkins doesn't care about anything. Right. Hey, Dwight. You need to start shifting those crates over to Beppo. And who are you to be telling me what to do? Hawkins. He's not happy with you standing around. Really? Then he should come here and tell me personally. But he won't. So, save yourself the effort. The Don wants this, the Inquisitor. 